Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Resident Evil 4. I will not get tired of doing that. I am the Alchemical Rabbit, and we're just gonna... You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna finish exploring the village. Once we finish exploring the village, then we'll worry about uh, getting our inventory sorted out. So all these buildings, we could have been running around drastically fighting things off. But we didn't. We hold up in one building... Held them off quite well with a couple of grenades, a few shotgun blasts, and a few more pistol shots than I would have liked. That's okay. We also have to make sure we break every window in the place. Now, keep in mind, the reason this is all happening is because Leon S. Kennedy, an American who apparently works for the Secret Service, although they haven't actually said Secret Service, um, stormed in to a poor, innocent civilian's house with his gun drawn not speaking a word of his language, and just walked on up and killed the man. And then what happened? His friends heard what happened. They came to check on him. We murdered all of them. And then we were going to town. We were going to try and get everything to calm down, right? We were going to talk to them. We we're going to explain that this was all just a huge misunderstanding. And unfortunately, we may or may not have accidentally stabbed a guy in the face it happens okay none of you out there can ever say that you haven't accidentally walked into a village and stabbed someone in the face you just can't it, it's a scientific truth so our choices are kind of limited at this point we could you know try and go back to america although we'd have to tell the president that we failed to save his daughter which is less than optimal we could call in reinforcements Sounds like a good idea, considering, you know, it's the president's daughter and there's only one of us. Or we could go on a one-man killing spree. And I think you all know which option we're taking. Alright, careful, make sure we always use two swings. We didn't use two swings there, good job. I was literally saying it, but I guess I hit it too fast. Okay, that door over there is where we want to go. Let's just make sure... We have so much handgun ammo, my god. Take... The alert order. Recently, there has been information that a United States government agent is here investigating the village. They wrote this really fast. Do not let this American agent get in contact with the prisoner. For those of you not yet informed, the prisoner is being held in an old house beyond the farm. I just wanted to make this entirely clear to you who don't know. It's probably not important that you know where the prisoner is, but we just wanted you to know old house beyond the farm. We will transfer the prisoner to a more secure location in the valley when we are ready. The prisoner is to stay there until further notice. Meanwhile, do not let the American agent near the prisoner. The prisoner that is in the old house beyond the farm. We do not know how the American government found out about our village, but we are investigating. However, I feel that this intrusion at this particular time is not a coincidence. I sense a third party other than the U.S. government involved here. My fellow men, stay alert. Chief, the Torres Mendez. All right. So they knew we were coming and going to stab them all already. My God. Does that absolve us of guilt? No, it doesn't. It's still entirely our own fault. But that's okay. So let's see. Anything else? We do still need to go check up that one tower. There is literally nothing in this building. Yeah, I do think when you are doing the village siege there at the beginning, that you could probably do it in such a way where you spawn in more enemies and therefore get more loot off them. Um... I don't really know which option is the best one. I find this one, where you just go to that other room and hide there, is the most efficient. And the reason we don't stay up here is simply because if we do, they will pull out Molotovs. That chicken laid an egg. We should go get that. Um, they'll pull out Molotovs and start throwing them in, up into the building and set you on fire, and nobody wants that. Um, but before we go, we should also make sure that we say our goodbyes. What in God's name? If only he'd come with me. That's true. Then we'd have a multiplayer game. All right. So every now and then, if you follow chickens around, such as this one, they'll lay eggs. I think infinitely. I don't know if there's a limit. Um, by following them and getting all of their eggs, they actually count as healing items. Very good. Got that. Got a flashbang. Flashbangs. Useful for later, so we want to make sure we stockpile those. 
Why are they important? We'll talk about it later. Can we go this way? No. Okay, so that way is open. We'll keep the chicken alive, just in case he lays another egg. I think we've sort of finished off everything up here, so let's go ahead and make sure we get everything nice and sorted. So let's see, I want to just start moving. Like many players of this game, I think I have a little too much love for organizing everything in this damn attache case. Okay, so 50 bullets. Okay, see, we're, we're low on bullets. We're down to only 123. Very sad. Put you there, put you there, put you there. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and take these, because these are two full heals. Already, we are far better equipped than the U.S. government ever intended us to be for this mission. And we have 20,000 pitas. I don't know how much that is in American currency, but it sounds impressive. And considering every pita seems to be a little box of gold coins, that seems valuable, right? Hmm. All right. I believe we have everything. Did I get everything that was on the roof? I think so. Uh, was there another way onto the roof that I missed? Let's just double check. I'd hate to leave things. Leave things unanswered, unexplored. Head on up to the east side. Yes, we did come around here, didn't we? Yes. Cool. All right. We are done in the village. I'm sure we'll never have to come here again. Thankfully, there is a convenient white arrow pointing the way. What does it say? The sign reads, Farm. I'm going to be honest, Leon, I don't see it. I just don't. We are going to swap back to the pistol for a little while. I'll make sure we have it fully loaded. Yep, shotgun. Um, ammo will be relatively scarce for a little while, so we are going to try and be nice about it. Nice about it. We are going to make try and make sure we don't waste any of it. All right. We have a few blue amulets, such as you see up there. And on this tree here. It's related to that sign. We'll get to it after we clear this place out. Uh, we do have a quick save point. Let's go ahead and make sure we use it. Perfect. I like how Leon just stops to ensure that he can, like, write out his memoirs in the middle of a mission. It's always nice and convenient that way. Alright, so we've done that. So there's not too many guys around here, actually. That one has a dog. I don't remember if that dog is evil is going to attack us. I'm going to go with yes. Ah, oh, I was hoping I could, like, scoot past him. All right. He's dead. As soon as they stop bleeding, because you notice as soon as he died, he stopped bleeding, and then he dissolved. So let that teach you something about life, kids. If you're ever stabbing somebody, and they stop bleeding, and they dissolve, it's all good. Kick him. I'm worried that's the... Is that the dog I saved earlier? Hi, dog. Are you going to attack me? Nope, you're running. Okay, we'll leave you alone. That's cool. I have no intention of hurting you, puppy. Aw. No, buddy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I had to kill your master, but in your defense, I'm pretty sure your master was going to eat you eventually. So the reason I'm running around using the knife instead of shooting them is because by using the knife, I don't make any noise. And they all aren't alerted that I exist yet. Man. Okay. So we took one hit more than we really needed to. It's okay. Let's check in here. Get a nice little spiel. Alright, let's take a look. Hello. Yep. And you're done too. Cool. Love it. This game is all about ammo maximization. You get to the second half of the game, you have all the ammo in the world. It means you have all the money in the world. Sir! I like your hat. However, that does not excuse your behavior, and for that you must die. I apologize. Shameful. Absolutely shameful. I think that's not the last of them. That's very close. Make sure we check these blue cupboards. Always check the blue cupboards. Need a little bit more ammo just, you know, to replace the stuff we've already lost. 
We are gonna have an we are gonna have an inventory space problem though. That is going to be annoying. Um, okay, so there's a door over there. There's a fence here. One second, my memory of the very beginning of this game is quite good. The further in we get, the more I'm going to be going. Wait, where is X thing? Okay. Go ahead and take a look at that blue note. Do, 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 do. Hanging next to a blue pendant. How matching. About the blue medallions, there are 15 of them. Seven in the farm, eight in the cemetery. Cemetery. For those of you who get ten or more, you will be rewarded. What we'll be rewarded with is a new pistol. So for that reason, we're going to avoid upgrading our current pistol. Yes, there's upgrading for as long as possible. And instead, focus on the one they will give us. Now, the extra thing is, there's one, is if we destroy all of them, not just ten, but all of them, then we get a free upgrade to that pistol. And it is debatable. I don't think the pistol is the best pistol in the game. I think it's the... Come on. I think the red 10 is slightly better on damage. But it's a matter of the other one, I think, because it holds more ammo. It tends to be better and you get the free upgrade, so I just tend to use it. Now, this is a troll. So you notice there's a shining, blinking medallion hanging up here. Now we could slice it, or shoot it, and it would drop down into this. That's no good. So we want to make sure that you take this, shoot that, and then... Can I get it without shooting it? No. Alright, and then shoot this down. And that way you get a pearl pendant without any damage on it, which is lovely. Now, we are going to spend a couple of minutes just checking the place out. There's another medallion. There's seven here, eight in the cemetery. So our goal is to try and find all of them. That's three. There's another chicken egg. Um, that's a lot of dead bodies. That's a lot of them. It honestly raises some questions about how many people you were living in this village. Once again, leaving the dog alone, because he's not harassing us. Let's not be mean to the puppy. Alright, coming over here, I think there's one on the back side of the barn. Uh, yes, there it is. I always, I always forget this is one. Boom, one shot, one kill. Excellent. Alright. Oh, another egg. So the eggs, if I recall, you can't combine them with anything, but they basically count as like a green herb. So just for example, you can see my health down the lower right hand corner. Boom, back up to full. Uh, every now and then they will also lay a brown egg. I think it's just a random chance. Uh, when they do that, then you have, uh, it's a full heal. It's like one of the best items in the game. It's a full heal that only takes up one space of inventory, which is quite nice. Hop over here. Now, if we can't find quite all of them, then we're not going to worry ourselves too much. Let's see, there's one over there. Oh, come on, you were on that. Leon. Leon, man. Just try to relax. I know a lot of people are dead, but... Aren't you supposed to be Secret Service? There we go. Alright, and there's... I think that was five? Oh, that was six. Where is the other one? Don't want to leave without finding... There it is, right in plain sight. Someone was yelling at me. There you go. Now, the next thing we want to do is we don't quite want to continue yet. We want to drop down, but we want to drop down somewhere specific. Um, somewhere, I might have to wait until a little bit later in the game? No, no. I come over here, jump down. We have this case here. Inside is a beer stein. Now, that will become important later. We can see the uh, kennel cages where they keep the puppies. Push that out of the way. All right, and with that, I believe we have everything that we needed. Yes, so this, I believe, was the way to go. I was correct. And we are now on our way to the house beyond the farm, which we wouldn't know to do if they hadn't written on a bloody note and left it out for anyone to read. I've seen this signpost before. Thank you, Leon. 
All right, we are going to go ahead and reload the pistol. I'm just going to get the hands ready here for no particular reason. Oh my god, a giant boldar! And we're hammering sprint, we're hammering sprint, we're hammering sprint. Come on, I'm really bad at these. I'm like really bad at quick time. Oh, but I did it! Woo! I, I have pain in my right hand normally, so trying to do that kind of sucks. But it's fine. Right, into the Cave of Wonders. You call it the Cave of Wonders because up here are some wonders that I miss entirely. Leon, smoke some cigarettes or something. That's a Metal Gear reference. Not telling you you should smoke. Don't smoke, kids. It's bad for you. You'll die. All right. We have passed beyond the farm. Let's turn around to make sure there was nothing behind us. Nope. Reload the old pistol. All right. Now, see these guys ahead of us? Notice the stick he's holding in his hand. I'm going to try and shoot it. We're going to see how this goes. Bats, you are distracting me. I don't know if it needs to be lit. Okay, that was one shot. Thankfully, he didn't react. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Um, okay, non-steady hands. Leon. Buddy. Pal. Bro. Compadre. That worked. <laughs> Let's see. I'm gonna try and do... Alright, ominous music begins, we pull back. Well, he's holding his hand is TNT. And he's not anymore, though. Okay, that that was the much harder shot, and somehow I pulled that off. Alright, inside of that room, you can see there's a string there. TNT. Blew up that. I hear TNT. That was closer than I would really like. Let's uh, go the other way. Alright. There he is. Alright. What I need him to do is to light it. Could you light that TNT? Thank you. Alright. You just uh, hold on to that TNT while you're laying there on the ground and its fuse is burning. Really? Okay. There we go! A few more bullets than necessary, but that's fine. High efficiency run it is. Once again, we're not at the... Rave oh crap. There's a way to trick this guy in the building, actually. So what you could do is Nope. Alright, so there's a way if you can get him to throw it into a wall, then it'll just bounce back and kill him. Let's see. It's just uh no. Sir? Would you be kind enough to have a seat, please? Thank you. There you go. A few more bullets than necessary, as always, but that's okay. Let's see. Thankfully, all that TNT didn't do anything. Nothing in that cabinet. But there is a grenade here that somehow was not blown up by a stick of TNT going off next to it. That was four gentlemen holding TNT. I think that's everybody. And look, folks, it's a house. A house that's thumping. You hear that thumping sound? Oh no, there is a bird's nest. Hold on. Bird's nests hold things, such as red cat's eye. Very useful. Um, I may miss a few of the bird's nests. I have no memory of where they are, unfortunately. So, uh, the cat's eyes might be going, well, what the hell is it for, though? Uh, the cat's eye is a gem that can be combined with the uh, beer stein. There will be three colors of it. We can get all of them. I think it's like worth like 30,000 pitas. It's quite quite expensive. Um, but hell, we may have already missed one. I don't have a good memory. Alright, inside of the house containing possibly the woman we are looking for. I hear loud hammering sounds. Always disconcerting. Also, don't leave your pitas outside, folks. People will find them and steal them. Alright. We're loaded. We have a little bit of ammo. Not as much as we need, but we're getting there. There we go. That's nice looking. Actually... I wasn't kidding when I said that I'm going to like obsess over this a little bit. 
There we go. Isn't that nice looking? You know, got your two healing items, got your extra healing down at the bottom. Lovely. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before we step into the thumping house of murder and doom, we're going to have to call it an episode. If you have enjoyed, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, I have been the Alchemical Rabbit, and I will see you later.